It was the first time Spain's new parliament had met following July's inconclusive election. The task was to elect the speaker. If the candidate from Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez's Socialist Party secured the position, it would give him a better chance of forming a new coalition and staying Prime Minister. Your Honours, the result of the vote is as follows. Votes cast, 350, 178 in favour of Mrs Francina Armagnol. Victory for Sanchez and a blow to the Conservative People's Party leader Alberta Nunes Feo, who also hopes to form the next government. The new speaker vowed to protect the interests of Spain's regions. Yes, esta pluralidad. It is this plurality that this house must reflect on in order to get closer to the real Spain, which is diverse, colourful and full of nuances. In order to continue on this path, I would like to express my commitment to the Castilian, Catalan, Basque and Galician languages and the linguistic wealth they represent. Sanchez has done a temporary deal with two Catalan separatist parties, including one led by the exiled leader Carlos Puigdemont. Originally, it had demanded an immunity deal for the 2017 illegal independence referendum and wanted another referendum in return for their support. But it appears to have settled for concessions on the wider use of the Catalan language, for now. Sanchez's path to forming a new coalition with the Catalans is by no means a done deal, but he has a much better chance than before. Days of intense political horse trading will now follow in a bid to form a new coalition. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.